combining a turn-based strategic gameplay with hardcore survival, set in a dark fantasy world and inspired by Slavic myth and folklore. Choose your god and lead your people. The village is the hub for our men, but we can see that there is a group already out exploring. We can check the party's inventory and keep track of the resources. We send the party back towards the village now. Keep your eye out on those goblins ahead. Our party comes across an event. They encounter a small creature trapped and in trouble, and they can choose whether to help it or let it die. Now because Olena has a high folklore skill, a special option becomes available for the party. Our turn ends and we can see a full summary. Here we have the spot that this Kshak told us about. Our brave group has returned to the village. Here we can construct new buildings, gather some basic resources or craft new objects. Our party has collected some monster bone before so now we can try and make something special. Throughout the game, you will be able to discover new recipes and thus make more and more interesting stuff. But even with limited supplies, you can find ways to try and make something useful. So we've chosen to create a citrine axe made by Kaleen in just one turn. We'll also send Vuk and Vime to get us some wood and water. It's a new turn, and it's time to send our people out again. We equip Bogdan with the flashy new axe, and send him to follow up on that fleet from the Skrzak. We get to the house and encounter a rugged old hag by the name of Baba Yaga. This forlorn creature is tormented by her own demons and is clearly mad and killed many children. We can see that there are dialogue options unavailable for our party, which means we did not meet some requirements. Right, so this is our card minigame where we fight the Baba Yaga and her minions. So let's start with playing Bogdan from our offense hand. And now we end our turn. Our opponent marks Bogdan with the confuse effect. Let's try to discard something from the enemy's tactical hand. Yaga enters the battlefield. She isn't strong, but she is very tough. And she has a rat as a minion. Let's try to confuse Baba Yaga.
Now we have no more cards to play, so we pass, and the first attack phase begins. Attacks are automatic, and characters strike in order from left to right, but confused characters lose their attacks. And now the second attack phase. There are always two attack phases. Our opponent tried to counter tactic, but his skill was too weak to do any harm. This turn, we can play two cards, so let's go with Miro and Bogdan. Okay, no more cards. Let's see how these attacks go. We should be able to win now. Victory! Not bad. We defeated the witch, but she takes her revenge on us and curses all of our people, including those back home. On the upside, we've rescued some kids. So we go back to our village and we decide to send another party out. The more you explore, the more you could gain after all. The party ends its turn far from the village and so they will make a campsite. But staying outside can be extremely dangerous. Another event befalls our party. This time, a dark mist descends. Your people try to huddle together for comfort, but the unnatural darkness seeps deep into their souls and claims the life of one of them.